In this video you will learn to uh, laminate brown craft package wrapping paper to hot wire cut foam wing cores to form some extremely strong but still very light wing panels and completed wings that consist only of the hot wire cut foam and brown craft paper adhered with slightly thinned Elmer's glue. There are no spars used whatsoever. When you do this, you can end up with uh, wings which are exceptionally strong, exceptionally light, very simple to make, and uh, also very economical. You can see here the uh, pink core with the brown paper very, very tightly adhered. We'll start out by cutting a couple pieces of the uh, brown craft paper to use for wrapping the wing cores. I've cut a couple uh, size pieces of paper from this roll of brown craft paper. The uh, pieces I've cut are 26 inches by 15 inches and they'll be used to wrap each wing panel with one piece of craft paper. These are insulation foam wing cores cut with a, a hot wire setup. The uh, cores themselves uh, have very, very little inherent strength. They bend rather easily and you wouldn't want to put a great big wing load on them. You could cut slots in them and glue in spars of some sort, but laminating them with brown craft paper is a very simple and amazingly strong way of dealing with the strength of the cores. I've already cut a couple pieces of brown craft paper. These have been cut uh, 26 inches long. The cores are 24. It's an inch longer than the wing core. And then they've been cut at 15 inches this way. The cord on the wing, uh, read that way, is 6 and 5 eighths inches. But with the, uh, the rounding of the surface, just ballpark figure, call it 7, 2 times 7 is 14. Add an inch for overlap and that's the uh, size paper that will be used for this project. We'll be using Elmer's glue. Any white glue or even a wood glue would work. Elmer's is less expensive and it uh, is all that you need. It's a little bit thick as it comes out of the bottle so we will dilute it slightly. Uh, don't go overboard on that. You just want to add a little bit of water, mix it until it's uh, easy to brush. You'll see the consistency as we get into the uh, glue application in a minute or two here. Some people brush uh, glue on the dry paper and allow the paper to be wetted that way. I found uh, what works out best for me and I like a whole lot more is wetting the paper first and I completely immerse it in water getting it totally soaked so it is completely wet and then I hang it up for just a couple minutes to let most of the water drip off of it. Here's some glue I mixed up yesterday when I was doing some wing cores. I uh, don't know if you can see that flowing in the can or not. That's basically the consistency we're going for. That may even be a little bit on the thin side. We'll add some glue to the container here.
that's just a little bit thick. When I say add a little water, I do mean a little water. That's probably going to be enough right there to get this thinned down. This piece of craft paper was uh, very recently soaked. So I use a towel here to flatten out some of the wrinkles on it and also remove some of the water from the paper. And now we're ready for glue. It's time for the uh, foam wing core. Glue on the trailing edge, which is square rather than sharp. This wing is going to be getting ailerons. Sand, lightly sanded the uh, wing cores first. They get some like whiskers, a little bit of fuzz from the hot wire cutting process. Makes them just a little smoother. Use about zero pressure when you're sanding them out. It takes very, very little. Coated the entire thing. I'm going to turn it over. Stick it down on the paper. We're going to plan to fold about to the middle. Don't have to get it in exact position right now. We'll come close. Foam is uh, somewhat porous, not hugely so. So the glue will soak into it a ways, which is actually a very good thing. It really, really anchors the paper when it's all dry. All right, with the uh, wing completely coated now, slide it over till it's about even. Up the back edge, fold it over. The exact place is not critical. We're going to overlap by design. 
So once we get that in place, put some glue on top where the overlap is going to occur. I don't always pay close enough attention to whether I've got the bottom or the top side of the wing core up. Again, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the only thing is sometimes I'll end up with uh, one half of the wing with the seam on the top and the other half on the bottom. Which looks a little bit odd, but you hardly even notice it when it's dry. So hold this part and slide like that to help pull it tight all the way around. And then we'll take a rag and wipe off some of that excess. <laughs> I'll wipe off our board a little bit now. We'll do a better job later. The other side of the wing. Slide the paper so it's relatively snug all around. It will shrink, but the uh, it's still a good idea to get it pretty snug at this point. We now are basically done with the uh, gluing except for the wing tips which you could just leave them in place where they are right now but sometimes you don't get a nice glue joint right to the uh, edge of the wing here so it can be a good idea and I'm wiping off some of the uh, excess moisture coming through the wing at this point and also some of the glue from the seam the excess paper at the end of the wing tip is trimmed uh, down so it's uh, will fold over without reaching the other side there's then glue is then applied to the uh, foam and also to the inside of the paper. Scissors are used every half inch or so to uh, snip the paper top and bottom. Then one side at a time, these little fingers of paper are folded in, and the other side is folded over on top of it, uh, glued down. The purpose of this is just to keep the uh, wing tip skins down tight to the surface of the wing. When everything's dry, this uh, part of the paper will be trimmed away. Here are the uh, craft covered foam wing cores out in the sun and the breeze to dry. Laminating the uh, hot wire cut foam cores with craft paper does add weight. If you watched how I slathered the glue on, you might think that uh, these things now weigh a ton and a half. They're actually amazingly light and amazingly strong. Here if we weigh just a uh, bare wing core, we've got about 43 grams of weight. If we weigh one of the laminated panels, that one is at 84 grams. So we basically doubled the weight from the foam alone to the foam with the craft paper on it, but we have increased the strength factor of the wing probably by a factor of uh, six or seven, maybe more. I'll use the table saw to uh, trim the ends of these wings remove the uh, folded over paper get down to bare foam we'll just trim uh, at least one end of each square for now and then we're going to also use the table saw to cut the dihedral angle in the center 
I'm going to put 12 degrees of dihedral in, so we'll cut 6 degrees on each panel. If we use the uh, cutoff from the wing, it'll hold it uh, pretty much with the center line parallel to the top of the table saw and keep everything aligned for the six degree cuts on uh, each wing half. We'll cut the uh, first half of the wing with the leading edge facing forward and then uh, rather than trying to tilt the blade the other way we'll reverse the cradle we'll cut the other half with the trailing edge of the wing facing forward which will give us the proper six degrees on each half of the wing There is our first cut at six degrees. Turn the cradle around, face this one backwards going through the saw. Trailing edge first. Line it up here. And now we have the uh, other half cut at six degrees. And they are now ready to be joined together with a cumulative 12 degree angle. We use a couple pieces of tape as a hinge, hot melt glue to glue the two halves together and then reinforce the center. At this point the uh, wing halves have been glued together with hot melt glue using some uh, blue masking tape, painters type tape, basically to form a hinge and hold it in alignment. Put the tape on, you uh, open up the center joint, apply the hot melt glue fold it up together, making sure it stays in alignment. Tape helps a lot in doing that. And then uh, once the glue is fully set up, you can just peel the masking tape off. And then a variety of materials could be used to reinforce the center. It's surprisingly strong just with a hot melt glue. Uh, some strapping tape, some wide strapping tape, or even packaging tape could be laid over the center seam to reinforce it. You could uh, put down another layer of craft paper a couple inches wide with glue to reinforce it. A traditional means of doing so is to use some fiberglass tape, an epoxy or fiberglass resin. That would work also, although that tends to be a little on the heavy side. Um, Lots of things could be done to reinforce the wing, but at this point it's just uh, about complete and finished. This shows the uh, wing tip having been cut off on the table saw. 
nice and clean and you can hopefully see how that craft paper has shrunk down and uh, it's really well adhered to the foam core. Uh, I may put some uh, wing tips on this either rounded and covered or carved or uh, maybe just tip plates a little bit oversized to keep the uh, uh, the air from delaminating from the wing tip. Lots of things you could do with it. 